Did you know that you can now use images in your Google Bard prompts? Pretty cool. This is the Crater Update. Let's get to it. So you've all heard of Bard, right? Well, there's been a whole lot of updates you should know about. First, Bard now lets you tailor the tone of responses. You can choose from a variety of options, including casual, professional, long, short, or simple. If you are looking for help writing something, this feature allows you to get closer to a polished response with fewer prompts. You can also pin and rename conversations for easy retrieval, export Python code to platforms like Replit and Google Collab, and effortlessly share your Bard interactions with friends. And the new image feature is amazing. Whether you want more information or just need help coming up with a caption, you can now upload images with prompts and Bard will help analyze the photo. We can't wait to hear how these updates affect your content, so don't forget to let us know in the comments below. Over to another story that may improve your workflow, especially if you are into video editing. DaVinci Resolve 18.5 recently dropped, packed with new AI tools and a whopping 100 plus fresh new features. If like me, you're often on a deadline, this update could definitely save you time. For example, audio within clips can now be transcribed, making it possible to text search for clips. And another one I really like is the automatic speech to text feature, which allows for the easy creation of subtitles. Go check it out. Up next, Adobe Photoshop's revolutionary Generative Expand update is in beta. Generative Expand lets creators extend photo edges beyond what the camera actually saw. Yes, using the magic of AI and Adobe Firefly technology, Photoshop fills up that extra space by borrowing elements from your existing picture, or lets you use a simple text prompt to create something for you. Let's check it out. Let's put me in the jungle. Hmm. Or maybe I can go to the moon. Ah, <laughs> so go for it. Let your creativity run wild. And for the lovers of AI-fueled creativity, I have more news. Google's Lab Sessions recently launched an innovative series of experimental AI collaborations where we team up with all sorts of visionaries, from artists to students, blending tech and creativity. We've got Dan Deacon using AI to morph text into music and craft incredible video visuals. Then there's Lupe Fiasco, harnessing AI to enhance his lyrical genius. And if you're keen on learning sign language, don't miss the pop sign AI game we cooked up with students from Georgia Tech and the National Technical Institute for the Deaf. So go learn more about these unique sessions and stay tuned for more exciting AI collaborations. And last but definitely not least, YouTube is dropping new tools to boost your shorts game. Introducing the Collab Tool, letting you easily create a split screen short with other videos. Get creative with new stickers and effects and keep an eye out for the Q&A sticker, helping you engage directly with your audience. You can check out the links in the description and read about other features YouTube is testing at the moment, like going live with shorts or recompositioning tools to make it easier to transform your horizontal videos into shorts. There's a tidal wave of cool features coming your way, so ride the wave and keep creating. And of course, don't miss out on spreading the love. Hit that like button and we'll be back with more tech updates that'll keep you on top of your game.